The UN mission in Afghanistan has expressed concern about a morality law imposed by the Taliban. On Wednesday, the Taliban authorities enacted a law with 35 articles detailing behavior and lifestyle restrictions. The law sets out graduated punishments for non-compliance from verbal warnings to threats, fines and detentions for wearing lengths. Rosa, head of the UN assistance mission in Afghanistan called it a distressing, distressing vision for Afghanistan's future. She said that after decades of war and in the midst of a terrible humanitarian crisis, the, the Afghan people deserve much better than being threatened or jailed if they happen to be late for prayers, glance at a member of the opposite sex who is not a family member or possess a photo of a loved one. Now, the law stipulates in particular that Muslim women are obliged to cover their faces and bodies around men who are not marams. Typically, a husband, brother, father, son, grandfather or uncle under Islam and non-Muslim women. Now, if a mature woman must leave her house out of a necessity, she is obliged to cover her face, body and ensure her voice is not heard. But these are the rules. A woman's voice is deemed intimate and should not be heard singing. Reciting poetry or reading aloud in public law emphasizes that women's clothing should not be thin, short or tight. Well, many components of the law have already been informally in place since the Taliban returned to power in August 2021 after the U.S. hasty exit. It is unclear if their formal codification would lead to stricter enforcement. The UN has called the restrictions gender apartheid that was that has pushed the women from public life into including barring them from secondary and higher education.